dear viewers this is my first tutorial in SQL Server I am Ashraf Islam welcome to my first tutorial today I will show how to install SQL Server 2014 for install SQL Server 2014 You need Windows 7 and high or higher operating system .NET Framework 4.5.1 for install SQL Server 2014. You need to download the .exe file. For downloading, you can visit Microsoft Download Center. After downloading SQL Server 2014, you will get some files like that, and here you will find setup.exe. You can just click setup.exe. Yes, a window will be appear. Yes. Just click installation and new SQL Server stand on installation and add feature to existing installation. Just click on it. I have already installed SQL Server 2014 in my PC. For that, I'm showing you in documentation. So dear viewer, just look that. After clicking this link, you will find a new window. Here, you have to accept license term. After clicking on the checkbox, just click next button. Then there will be another window use Microsoft update check it's recommended so just click on it and just click next then you will get another new window here you will find all features of SQL Server At the beginner's level, you will select all checkbox. Just click select all button and just click next. Then another window will be appeared. Just look that. You will find instant configuration window here mm, you look default instance and name instance you can keep default instant or change the default instant by clicking name instance here by default you can change SQL instance in this tech box Here you can write SQL 2014 or your choice. Just click next. And new window will appear. Nothing to change here. Just click next. And you will find database engine configuration window. Here you find two authentication mode Windows authentication and mixed mode SQL Server and Windows authentication. This mode is both 
Windows and SQL Server authentication. If you want both mode, just click Mix mode. And click Add Current User. You can change data directories of your database file. Uh, and just click next you can click mix mode add current user next and enter password this password is system admin password for connecting or SQL Server, you have to provide this password, which I will I will discuss in my later video. And just click Add Current User. Next, click Installation Progress will be running. After complete installation, you will find confirmation message. If all feature installed successfully, you will be notified that status will be succeeded. Okay, just find close, click close. Your ins installation is finished. By following this process, you can easily install SQL Server 2014. If you feel any problem, I will attach this file in my video. You can follow this document to install SQL Server 2014. So thank you very much. In my next tutorial, I will show how to connect SQL Server 2014 using SQL Server Management Studio. After installation, You will find SQL Server 2008 in your start menu. Just write SQL. You will get SQL Server 2000 for Management Studio. Just click on it. It takes some time for first loading. You will find that kind of window here. this window you are looking for connect SQL Server by using Management Studio I will describe in my se second video so just keep on it thank you for watching my video